Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now, and contrary to the usual goings on around here, I'm wearing a hat. It's not because I think it looks good, it's because I didn't have time to do my hair, because I've just returned from seeing my FedEx delivery driver who brought me this. It's not just a dangerous lithium ion battery, it is in fact a Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So let's unbox it. And having gotten the FedEx packaging out of the way ahead of time, here is the retail box for the much ballyhooed Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Before we start the unbox, we want to tell you that we got this unit from Negri Electronics. Go ahead and visit them at their website if you would like a Galaxy Note 3 of your own. And many thanks to them for providing us this demo unit in a very, very timely fashion. So as you can see, this box is coming from the same place as the rest of the high-end Samsung Galaxy line with this faux wood grain finish on it. Uh, we have an uh, American model. It's probably only capable of the Americas. That's great. That means we have the uh, Snapdragon 800 powered Note 3 with bands for American LTE, and that's excellent. So we're going to go ahead and try and ease the box open here. I'd have to get that sticker out of the way, which we will do right now. Boom. There that goes. And we can just slide this up on the back mounted sticker with the serial numbers there. Ooh, and it's a white one. I didn't know which one we were getting. And the white one is going to be fun to review. There should be a tab here. Yes, let's do it the easy way. We won't make it hard on ourselves. Boy, after reviewing the iPhone 5C for a week, this thing is a monster to hold. There's that stitched leather back. We'll come back to the device. Let's see what comes in the box with the unit. So the first thing I've pulled out of the box is this metal clip. It's vaguely familiar, but I do not remember what it does. When I find out while I'm editing, I will drop in a description probably right about here. But for now, we'll put that mystery item aside. As you might expect, a flagship class device like this comes with Samsung's earbuds. These are the uh, the, Linguini, the Linguini flat wire edition with the gel ones that go in your ear. I actually quite like Samsung's stock, stock earbud offering. A USB cable, USB to USB 3.0, and you can see here, if we can get focus, there it is. It is a much thicker connector than the usual USB 2.0 or a micro USB 2.0 because of that added, uh, added port there. We will have a look at that more closely as we have a look at the device. Here's the battery on the bottom. Ooh, big old monster battery, and if we can get a little zoom here, we'll check out the milliamp hour rating, make sure we got the right one. 3,200 milliamp hours on this power pack put it aside and there's some additional gels for our stock earbuds finally I believe this is the last of it the wall adapter should be 2 amp just like the rest and the rest is just cardboard filler which we will put aside coming back to the device itself as we saw when we first took it out of a box it is the white version these are uh, this is a pretty loose protector here I think this was probably uh, taken off at some point before so we will just go ahead and pull it off with no ceremony But this front display protector geez, it's hard to get the whole thing in the frame. It's such a giant device Sorry, it's been a while since I've uh, handled my note too We'll get the microphone a little bit closer here for our ceremonial screen peel off and we will ask for quiet, please. Oh Yeah, that's the good stuff right there Turning the device over, we'll go ahead and pop in this 3200 milliamp hour battery. There's your typical thumb slot up in the corner of this, um, this faux leather backing. We'll be not quite as gentle as we want to be, apparently. And we'll go ahead and we'll put in a memory card later and uh, we'll put in a sim later and stuff. Right now we're just going to do a first power on it. Pop the battery in there. Slide the cover back on. There's the S Pen hiding down below. I'll pop that out in just a second. Make sure we engage all the snaps on the side. There seem to be more hardware uh, hardware snaps, for lack of a better word, on this battery cover. And it is a much more rigid battery cover than uh, than we're used to, to feeling here. And this is not quite soft to the touch. Let's see if we can get a closer shot there for you. This actually feels uh, a little bit more more rigid than, uh, than I recall. There's a protector on that camera lens there. This camera, by the way, 13 megapixels with digital, not optical, image stabilization, uh, BSI sensor, and the new design flash. This is a take around to the right. Power standby key on the right hand side. Samsung's got its usual um, plastic side protectors here. Go ahead and zoom back out so we can take a look at that special USB 3.0 port along the bottom, along with the speaker port, microphone. There's the S Pen down below. The redesigned S Pen. More to see in the software of the new S Pen, but this is uh, this is a new design nonetheless. And as you can see, that subtle ribbing there mirroring the rest of the design of the phone. 
Up front, you can see that it's not entirely smooth. We have, uh, it is smooth to the touch, but we have this kind of uh, dimpled pyramid uh, faux texturing below the, the gloss alongside the earpiece here and the front facing camera holes and the holes for the sensors as well. Samsung branding up top and the traditional big old home button down below. A, uh, a pretty attractive device. Uh, didn't get a chance to play with the white ones so much in Berlin, so nice to have this in our hand. This, uh, with the battery installed, we're looking at a 168 gram device, so much lighter than you would expect from such a, a large phone. Let's go ahead and power on the screen here. We're gonna press and hold the power standby button. And this screen, as it comes to life, will tell you is Super AMOLED with a resolution of 1080 by 1920, and it is 5.7 inches on the diagonal. 386 ppi, there's the Samsung power on noise, you saw the uh, notification LED hiding up there in the corner, and there is our welcome screen with a little bit of haptic feedback that you probably did not detect on the camera there. Eventually that welcome screen is going to mark the beginning of our Samsung Galaxy Note 3 experience, which we will be embarking upon very, very shortly. Folks, if you were around for our Galaxy Note 2 coverage, you know that the coverage on the Galaxy Note 3 is going to be very extensive at Pocket Now. So, once again, thanks to our friends at Negri Electronics for sending us the demo unit. Please follow us on social media, drop us a like if you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below if you have something specific you'd like us to cover in the full review or the comparisons. And as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. We'll see you soon.